and with uh, the province of Rome as a one of the stakeholders, let's say, of the internet governance. And uh, well, it's the first time in my life I've never been in Geneva or in Bilbao or Tunis, so it's the first experience. And uh, the idea is to, well, mainly understand more than give my opinion, to understand our others and what they are uh, thinking about and to get in touch with other people working in the same field. Well, mainly on openness, uh, w that was my main goal, coming here and understand the role of openness. Um, as a, as a uh, background, I'm a computer scientist, so I'm working in, in the field of technologies, but mainly for public administration. So uh, I'm in the middle between citizens and, uh, and politicians, helping both in, in get in touch with technologies. So uh, I was expecting maybe a bit more on, on openness, openness in relationship between those stakeholders and uh, openness on technologies, um, open, uh, how can you say, to open, to give opportunities to politicians to get in touch to citizens with technologies and to give citizens to get in touch for, to politicians and to take decisions on, to help them in taking decisions with technologies. Something like uh, e-democracy, e e-participation, stuff like this. That was my main goal. But so far, yeah, I've heard a lot of opinions on that, but uh, nothing new. Okay. I would say. Well, I found exactly two different positions. One is totally open, the other one is totally closed. I didn't find so far nothing in the middle. I don't know why. I mean, there are people closing uh, technologies because of security, because of privacy, because of everything. I don't know what exactly and others opening everything without any concern on security, privacy, whatever. I think we should, we should do something in the middle of that. Well, convince is a strong word. I mean, I try to, but uh, uh, mainly trying to help them in putting themselves in the other position. And this is something that I'm doing in my job every day. Because as a, as a citizen, you see uh, all the, the, the wrong things politicians are doing in your, in your uh, let's say, position. And as a politician, you, you don't see, not always, I mean, but sometimes, yeah, what exactly people are asking you. And in this field, is the same. Those two positions, so let's say like a, a zero and one, they don't have any other switched on and off. There is nothing in the middle. And they are uh, very often uh, not, uh, not open to, to, to listen. So what I did try so far, but uh, I don't think I had so, so great success on that, is just to, to give them the, the other vision of the other side, just to, to put them in the middle, I mean, um, I, I think that the only right way is to consider both position and to make them converge in, in one in the middle between. But uh, yeah, it should, it should be a, a politician way of, uh, of doing this. I mean, it's, a, it's their job to be able to moderate and take uh, positions and, and make them converge to their own ideas. Um, well, this is already a, a, a success, being in a, in a context talking about technologies, because we are talking about technologies, with so many politicians. 
normally it doesn't happen. I mean, when I'm going to, to workshop conferences or seminars or whatever, uh, you did not find so much politicians because on technologies, they are afraid to talk about. And they, because probably they don't know, I mean, they don't have to, to, be, uh, to know everything, but they talk about everything else. They talk about uh, uh, chemical issues or uh, environment issues or traffic or whatever in, in, in the politician life. But technologies is something that uh, they don't touch. They call technicians to, to take their decision. So I think that uh, this is already a step ahead. Having so many politicians in the same uh, environment talking about technologies and how the governance of technologies, the governance of internet in this context, that is something that they have to take care on. I mean, uh, they cannot leave technologies to technologists. And they, it is something that, they, I mean, it, at least in, the, in Italy, a local public administration too much give to technologists the decisions. And uh, so having them here, it's already a step ahead. Just to, I'm hoping that when they come back to their own countries, they can continue and talk to all the other politicians because they speak another language. So they can probably understand each other much better than uh, uh, with technology languages. What is my dream? Well, first of all, to leave it open, let's say, internet for everybody, IT for all, as the European community is saying since, uh, since years. Uh, it should be. Uh, so open, that means that uh, everybody can say and can get information wherever can be. Uh, the knowledge must be open. It is a so big uh, deposit of knowledge uh, for everybody. It should be uh, open for, for this. But uh, it should be maybe more secure. I don't... Uh, I'm not so much concerned about security and privacy, probably, because I did not uh, have so far strong uh, problems on that matter. I'm more concerned about the openness for everybody. But as somebody told yesterday and the day before, um, the, uh, the main issue is for all people that are so many, so they say 5,000 mil, 5, million of people who doesn't use so far internet. We should think about them, and uh, probably they don't really care about spam or privacy or security. They just care about to get knowledge, maybe some, something else, of course. But uh, after the primary needs, they will need also to be able to, to get information, but not only and to, to make exchange. Uh, in, when I, just this morning, I received an email from a friend saying that Google doesn't work this day, and I feel like having lost all my memory. That's the point. So this must be for everybody. And we, we don't have to lose our, our memory. Yeah, I have a great fear, yes. Uh, I trust politicians, but I don't trust them in another sense. I'm really afraid that uh, as far as they understand the, the, the power of the internet, the power, the real power of, of the, the, how citizens can really participate in, the, in their own life and taking decisions for themselves, they will probably try to uh, to, to keep it for themselves. I mean, um, democracy. We are in Greece, so it's a, it's a, it's a Greek word. That means uh, power to demos, so to people. Power in the sense that uh, uh, we should be able to take decisions for, for ourselves. Politicians are people put it there just to 
receive our needs and to, to make them, to make them uh, uh, through. So my, my strong fear is that uh, as far as they will understand how power can be uh, internet, how powerful can be uh, the, the democracy through technologies, they will uh, probably stop it. So what I'm hoping is that they will be able to understand it too late for them to be able to stop it. That's it. Yeah, well, as I said, I'm a technician, so uh, I'm helping politicians to understand how they can use technologies to their job. How can they exploit all kind of technologies to, to make better their jobs. Uh, but I, I'm, a, I'm a citizen, first of all, and as a citizen, I'm asking them to be in my, uh, to work for me. Uh, I'm not a user, I'm not a customer, I'm a citizen. I mean, being a customer has been a good uh, way to, to explain to politicians how to behave uh, in, in, uh, for, with citizens, because uh, the, the customer idea is that they, they're always right. They have always have to be uh, followed in their uh, ideas. But first of all, I would like to be considered a citizen. And uh, as a citizen, I think I can help them in, in try to, to, to better consider my opinion. So it, I, I really think that internet can be a a good instrument for e-participation. Openness, can it be? Sure. If you Let's you hope. Want, Let's hope. Yes. <laughs> if it is just one word, it should be open. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Great.